Um, hi guys, I'm back with another tutorial and uh, this is a continuation to our projectile movement component and uh, our goal is to add collisions for bullets or projectiles. Currently this is what we have, the bullets will go through the wall and stuff, so... Okay, we want to fix this, uh, the issue where the bullets are going through the wall, we want them to ricochet or bounce so as to say so go into your bullet detector all right and then we need okay first of all i want to explain something this projectile movement by default will target the root component right and if the root component does not have collisions the option here which is um, should bounce won't work all right but at the same time we're not going to use this option for our uh, ricocheting or bouncing um, some tutorials will tell you that you need to take this and uh, use it but specifically for bullets I don't think this is the best option I'll show you where to use this and I'll show you uh, my method so we have a problem here because we have two items here that are forming our bullet if it was just a single um, static mesh we'd just make it the root okay so how do we solve this? Uh, we are going to wrap this in something that has collision. You're going to wrap these two in something that has collision. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add like a box collision, right? Sample box, and then we are going to make our box our root, right? Go ahead and delete the default um, or root component. And then this box is the root component. So this projectile movement will target this. All simulations for this projectile will be the root. And when the root moves, these two will move, right? Good. So if this collides, these two will collide. Perfect. Now for our box collision, um, let's just go ahead and just shape it uh, so that it surrounds the our little bullets much better. I mean, I'm not gonna perfect this, but you'll do your best. Yeah, you, if you have time, you you'll fix it. But I think that's good enough. Let me just make sure. It Occupy the tip. Okay, that's good enough. All right. So this is going to be the collision for our our box. So now that we have our box collision as the root, we want to go over here, and then we want to um to the collision pre presets, and then we want to block all dynamic, which means um our collision is blocking basically. Okay, good. So another option that we want to do. First, okay, let me show you what happens if we do um, projectile movement and then we do shoot bounce. There's two options of doing this. The first one is this. I'm going to uh, take shoot bounce and then let's watch what happens. You can see that our bullets are bouncing, but then they are not like, you know, the simulation is bad. They're just bouncing back. That's not what we want because bullets, when they hit something, they kind of rotate and then they go their separate ways. They don't just bounce in one line. So what we want to do is we want to um, come over here and then go to our box collision, right? And then we need to take um, simulate physics. You see, the moment you do this, the system will ignore will ignore this option, the should bounce option. So if the target component has collision and it has simulate physics on, then should bounce is not used, right? It's useless. Whether this is on or off, that won't change the thing. Now, here's what we did. We turned the physics simulations on, and then what will happen is the only thing that will take um, over from this project time movement settings that the initial, um, if you read the description for, it says um, an updated component is simulated physics, only the initial launch parameters, when initial value, if when initial velocity is not zero, will affect the projectile and the physics sim will take over from there, which means the only value that uh, will affect our projectile's movement is the velocity here, which is somewhat of the direction, and then this initial speed. After this is applied, these settings will take over. The settings is right over here. The settings on simulate physics. Now let's see what happens if we use um, a box collision some simulate physics combined with this. Okay, 
because that's more. Sorry, okay, that's more bullet like, as you can see, um, it collides and then it goes its own way, it simulates physics, physics like you know how bullets would do, like or how any um hard surface would do. So, this is more like it rather than a direct line of, of bouncing, which was not that um convincing, right? So, this is good. Um, some settings that you'll want to mess with though, um, be here because remember, the only option that will apply to this is like the initial. The initial values so if you want to control like the gravity how fast the bullets fall down the linear damping you want to mess with your um, box collision right here and then one other point i want to make is that you don't always want your bullets to be bouncing or colliding for example if the bullets go through a soft body like a human like human tissue you want your bullets to pass through right or to get inside the human you don't want them to bounce back but if they hit something concrete like a wall or steel or you know something something hard like a hard surface um compared to to, to human tissue so you want your bullet to be acted differently what you want to do here is you want to go to your box collision and then you want to um control what happens on component head right when that component hits then maybe you want to like you need to use this event i'll make another tutorial on how to um uh decide what happens when maybe the bullet hits the hu a human or human tissue versus a wall right for the human tissue maybe you want to spawn blood or something and then you want it to go through and then for the wall you want it to bounce back so so most of the time you'll be messing with this with the setting right here but at runtime with the settings right here but at runtime okay so that's a topic for another day but i just wanted to uh, make that point all right so I also mentioned that um, I wanted to show you one other option where should bounce is useful. Okay, now let's take our focus off the bullets and then look at the coins. The coins are also be, are also on um, projectiles that are being shot up and then they'll um they'll drop all the way down, right? So if we do uh, play. In the You can see that the coins are also projectiles, right? They shoot up and then they drop down. They're somewhat being simulated, right? So this is where shoot bounce is useful because we don't want our coins to drop down and then simulate that physics will all be falling over. Because after all, if you are simulating physics, the coins will not. When we're simulating physics, the coins won't fall left or right here. Or, or anything you, you get what i'm saying so anyway anyway i'm, I'm sorry about that somebody's making us anyway so this is not what we want to do when our calls our our coins fall right we want our coins to just stay on the ground and then just rotate right here if we were simulating physics they would fall over either left or right so what we want to do in this case, I'll show you my setup for the coin actor. Let's go to the coin actor and then our viewport. You see that I've wrapped my coin right here in a box collision, right? Here's my coin mesh, and then I've wrapped it in a box collision. So the box collision will um, control the, the collision of the box, which will be the target of this projectile movement component and this rotating movement component. So both these movement components, they target the root component by default. So I wanted to target the box for like collisions and stuff and, and, and bouncing. So if you go to our projectile movement, you can see that I've set should bounce to true, which means that our coin will bounce, right? But after it bounces, it will stop and then it won't simulate physics where it will fall left or right. This is what we want. And in order for this to work, we don't want um, simulate physics here to be on. So you can see simulate physics off. So let me show you what happens if you were to turn simulate physics on, right? Okay, that's not what we want. We don't want our coins to fall over. We want them to stay rotating. So whether you choose simulate physics or not, 
it depends on like the kind of effect that you want. But for me, in this case, I don't want to simulate physics after after the projectile movement. I just want the projectile movement to handle all the physics, which is like I want it to bounce and then just stay in that position. And then the rotating movement component will just keep rotating the coin at the same place, right? So that's pretty much it. But you also have you might have another question like what if why don't we just make our coin since our coin mesh has collisions, why don't we make it the the root component instead of wrapping it in a in a in a in a box collision, which is a valid point or a valid question, but I'll show you the problem with that. If you go to our here's an alternative setup for our coin where the coin is the root, right? You know that if something sorry, if something is the root, we can't really rotate it. The only settings we have to it is the scale. So by default in our editor, our coin will be flat. I don't like this. I want my coin to be, you know, rotated this way, right? To be standing sort of upright in my editor so that I know when I spawn it, it'll go spawn upright. If your coin is rotated this way, you'll have to go to your spawning settings, for example, right here. And then you have to do this at runtime, like you need to control the, the spawning at runtime, right? You'll need to like split the struct here. I don't like doing this, and then you need to figure out how much you need. You need to rotate this so that it's standing upright when you spawn it. I mean, it's it's up to you what you want to do, but for me, I don't like this kind of workflow. I just like to, I like the workflow where, so. I like the workflow where I'm setting up everything Right in my like my blueprint editor so that you can see um the orientation of my coin so it will spawn like this right so that's pretty much it and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial also um if you guys are wondering what am I using to um spawn um those coins and bullets according to music I'm using this plugin it's the media engine broadcasters plugin you can get it on the marketplace it's currently on sale and everything from Algo Syntax so Algo Syntax so you can probably just Peruse through and see what's what you can get. Okay, but I recommend this plugin. Uh, it's good if you want to send things from music to music, and uh, it's using MIDI. So yeah, that's probably it. Thanks.